Let's dive in, darling dears, as we call in the energies of wisdom, guidance, and protection from Father God, Mother Isis, ancestors, way showers, spiritual guides, as above, so below. From Keitha to Malkuf. So be it mode, energies, up, 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 divine feminine, up, up, up. We're going to see what's going on. Why did they gang stalk you? Let's go straight to the hard cold truths, yeah? Oh, because they're a hobosexual. Yes, be a bit. A hobosexual, an opportunist, somebody who's never done better than you, but always got something to say about your greatness or your what? Boldness, darling dear. Mm -hmm. They would love to have a one night stand with you. To what strengthen any soul tie you've managed to what circumvent and cut? Mm -hmm. Because they don't know what your next move is, darling dear. You've learned to move in silence. Shut up. Self-validation, which you get from your birth natal chart. You're doing a north node kind of a thing. Silencio. Mm -hmm. Oh! And because some of you have possibly gone into a union or you are about to be gifted with a true like-minded partner. Whatever that true love is for you. True love could be a child, darling dear. True love could be what? Following your passions and getting what? Abundance on every level from that. Or it could possibly be the true love's first kiss, darling dear. Oh, if they was mad before. Mm, this and that, darling dears. This and that. to be what's scrabbling in the dust to get the answers mm -hmm. and the one we have darling dear is thirsas this is devil energy it speaks about what the codependent the obsessively jealous those that have addictions darling dear also controlling behaviors he was dealing with straight up narcs darling dear narcs sociopaths psychopaths echopraxy all of the above, darling dear, but none was medicated. None have been to a true physician, psychiatrist, to deal with their issues. Capricorn energy in the upright, I might add. Mm -hmm. Represented by the numbers 60, 61, 62 and 63. It also represents the letter X or actually an X. That doesn't want you to what? Have any happiness in your life. This person is feeling what? Betrayed by you. Why? Because you dare to what? Leave the troll under the bridge, blood. Leave it where it was. Mm -hmm. They had to what? Hit the road. Just like Jack. This also speaks about somebody's going through strife. Caught up in a root chakra in the reverse. I'm hearing intoxication. Possibly what? Supping it up every hour of the hour is cocktail hour for them, them. Mm -hmm. This person will also or did go as far as to commit grape against you, divine feminine. You know what it means. I have to use, I have to use words around certain words. YouTube doesn't like it. This person is extremely spiteful. And I told you they're in full on homosexual mode. So we'll tell you what the grass is pink with orange stripes. Just to get your ear, just to get back into your feelings, darling dear. Once you've got someone in your heart chakra, that's it, mate. <laughs> Especially when they are what? Dark hearted, cold hearted and mean. Mm -hmm. Never you forget, Divine Feminine. Proverbs 4.23. Guard your heart, for from your heart springs the word of life. Gonna lead with the witch's oracle chakra. Oracle card. Why am I saying chakra? Whatever the issue is, darling dear, you are protected. Know this. You also stand on the big pentacle. This is about some kind of foundational thing that you've secured. Your goals, your wishes, your wants. Right? Never your needs, darling dears. Your needs. Had you on your knees, darling. Mm -hmm. In a in a what unfabulous kind of a way. You are protected. 
by the Most High, your ancestral team, way shows, and spiritual guides. This card also tells me to remind you, Divine Feminine, as a spiritual being, having a human experience, you must claim dominion over yourself. No one can do it for you. And there is no better prayer than the one you put over yourself, your progeny, your home, all of your, all of your investments, darling dear. And an investment is anywhere you put your time, energy, which you cannot get back. Base of the deck, cup of love, darling dear. This also speaks about your creativity. Some of you are pregnant at this moment in time, divine feminine, or you will find out. It also speaks about your motherly miss, your nurturing nature. Mm -hmm. It speaks about you what? Um, a new lover, a new lover, a new love is coming towards you, darling dear. Yeah, as I said, it could be something to do with your goals, your dreams. It could be a divine masculine. I don't know. Whatever you've been putting out there in the hemisphere, darling dear, know that it's about to be delivered unto thee. Otherwise, they wouldn't have stepped up. The bullying, the gang stalking. And don't let me talk about the merchants of slander, always on the balls of their feet to traffic in wickedness. Mm-hmm. Split the deck. We've got moon energy, darling dears. This speaks about cycles. Some of you are healing with the energy of the moon cycles. Continue, darling dear, because your cup will run off over. The chalice also speaks about, yes, it does say fulfillment, but it also speaks about emotional fulfillment. It also breathes into what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Emotional maturity, darling dears. The season where you what? Respond and not react. Mm -hmm. Let's get another card. We're going to use the Oracle Chakra cards. One card, please. That's two. I'll take the one that touched my hand. We've got money, darling dears. Hey, hey! Money, Pentacale, Skrilla, dot com, blood. Mm -hmm. It's all about what? Your finances. Somebody's possibly wanting generosity from you. I told you, Divine Feminine, they are trolls under the bridge. Don't, don't, don't stop. Keep going. Don't take anyone with you. Not everyone is meant to go where you are going. This is why they still want to bully you, darling dears. To see if they can break you down from outside your perimeter. Nothing can affect you unless you choose it to. Spiritual warfare always starts in the mind, darling dear. The mind. This is what? Sacral chakra, darling dears. The sacral chakra sits above your root chakra and underneath your solar plexus, the center of your emotions. This speaks about your relationships as well as your sexuality. You are looking like money in them streets. Why? You took the time to go within and take care of yourself. I'm also seeing koi fish. These are rare and expensive, darling dear. This is about you what? Realizing that there is no price tag for you. You are what? Infinite. Mm-hmm because of the infinite possibilities that you bring to you, darling dear. Know that you must protect your energies, your penticale, and your shell-like. Not everything you hear must you act upon, darling dear, but never you forget. Don't let nobody take the piss with you. Say what you've got to say in a ladylike lady -like kind of a way. Dress them down, darling dear. Dress them down. And I don't mean, it means tell them off. But you use your words. Base of the deck, it's your responsibility, darling dear. Your future is in your hands. It speaks about empowering yourself, darling dears. This is the solar plexus. I just mentioned it. Your solar plexus is your spiritual Geiger counter. You feel happiness, sadness, um, danger, everything you feel in your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your intuition and use your discernment. Some seed that you planted previously, darling dear, you're about to see what? The fulfillment of your actions. This is why the bullying has stepped up. This is why they're watching, darling dear. This is why they've set up altars in your name. Mm -hmm. They should have put what bad bitch on there. 
Not your name, darling, dear. That's not what you go by these days, according to the tarot screeks. Pinkies are. Mm-hmm. Bad bitch! <laughs> Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. The weather in the UK at the moment, it's about 13 degrees. It's grey, it's windy, it was raining. Weather person! We are confused in the UK. Right. Hold on. Just shining off my spectacles of truth. So I can see what's going on. Because if I can't see it for you, I can't tell you what's going on. I'm gonna dive right in, darling dears. Give it a good shifty. Because we really want to know what's their issue. Why won't you leave you alone? You've left them alone. We have what? Um a full lunar eclipse coming up towards us on the 16th of May, darling dear. I believe it's 25 degrees of Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Find out where Scorpio is in your birth natal chart, darling dear. The house that it falls under will give you the tools to handle it. But for this particular lunar eclipse, it's going to be a blood moon. So therefore, we will be releasing certain things once and for all. This is why the energies are raising up to try and drag you back to hell in a handbasket. Make you doubt your what? Your certain steps. They may have been tentative, but in the words of Abraham Lincoln, ever forward. Hey! And apparently, darling dears, as you move forward, you leave with the what? The bag. We already saw the abundance you bought for yourself. It's got a 14 on it, darling dear, protected by your ancestral team. You did the slow, slow, quick, Quick, slow, get into some kind of a foundational, some kind of what? Some kind of generational wealth that you've created, darling dear. Otherwise they wouldn't be talking. You are self-sufficient sufficient in them screeks. The bag, darling dear, the bag. The bag brings you choice. Right, let's see what the past energy was. What is it that you stripped away as only an Ibex big cat can? Mm -hmm. Past energy, please. That true wisdom is knowing when to act and when to watch. When to fall back, darling dear. Past energy. Three of cups. Clarify the three of cups, please. Oh. Throuple season, darling dear. Gossipers. This also speaks about what? You went somewhere. Somewhere you was invited to, darling dear, but you was not included. You was left out. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about what? Holding your tongue. Realizing that you're not arguing with chicken heads and the feeble-minded and removing yourself from a situation. Celebrating your feminine energy. Realizing whom the hell you were in a situation. Five of swords on its face, darling dears. Mm-hmm. This also speaks about the manipulation of hidden enemies. And it also speaks about what? Somebody was involved with you. A full-on homosexual. Because of what? The Skrillers.coms. You boot to the table, darling dear. I told you. You find out a thing or two when you step away from the melee. Thank you. Generational wealth, darling dear. Right next to the Three of Cups, you took your fem feminine energy and your loyalty on the road. A situation that is what? Turning in your favour at this moment in time. You moved away from a situation where you was not celebrated. I tell you all of the time, Divine Feminine. As you continue, continue on your what? Ascension, your awakening journey. You will only go where you are loved. 
There are tables that you do not sit at anymore, where you are disgust at what? The stable foundation you've created. Past energy is missing the loyalty, the energy that you put into them, darling dear. It could be with your good advice. Your lovely, lovely, jokey, jokey personality, darling dear. The fact that you was dependable and loyal. Past energy is missing out on that, darling dear. A situation that you had to wash your face like David. And remove yourself from in silencio. present energy why 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 still the bullying though you're not involved you've minded your own business no one can mind their own business like a divine feminine big cat look spell car stations darling dear wishing wishing wickedness on you still doing it present energy this is the gang stalkation of it all darling dear trying to gather intel trying to get a way in this also speaks about what a mistress when you see the high priestess in the reverse, this is a mistress, but that's somebody that is what? A succubi or incubi, darling dears. Somebody who uses sexual energy to get exactly what they want. This also speaks about the mal malice and castorations they try to put on you. Base of the deck. They wanted you to lose all forms of love, darling dear, including the what? From the most high. They didn't want you to have self-love. If you had children, they wished ill on your progeny, darling dears. They wanted everything to fail. They wanted to be you in a single white female kind of a way. They, them, and arm. Mm. Something to do with blood, blood magic? Mm. Yup. They definitely did use that, darling. Yeah, some spell was cast in your name to put you at what? Depression, lack, having no direction, unable to eat or sleep, where you was either too fat or too skinny. Mm-hmm. This and that. This also speaks about what? Right next to the magician? Spell work, darling, dears. I told you, protect yourself. You think I'm joking when I keep telling you this. Third up. Protect yourself, darling dear. Your evil eye bracelets, your obsidian crystals. It's very important. You wasn't born at this time for no reason. You haven't been chosen by your, your ancestral team just because they felt like it. You was picked out and earmarked for a reason. You are spiritually gifted, darling dear. And you have the badass alchemist ways. You can turn any situation, right? From mildew to barbecue, darling dears. But you have to speak your truth and speak dominion over yourself. Return to sender. This is present energy. Protect yourself from these creatures from the backward, darling dears. The backward base of the deck. What did I say? Somebody also that you've left behind in the past could be a friend or whatever is trying to sneak back into your situation. You also feel as though some of you are feeling that maybe you're going too far. Feeling a little paranoid, are you? Are you feeling a little paranoid? Well, you was right. It wasn't just paranoia, darling dear. That energy was currently, is currently being directed at you. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, king of wands, unsatisfied eyes. This is somebody from the past, someone who you let go. This person is a dick dealing, mattress backing, Listen, they are faithful to the whole crowd, full on hobosexual. This person has the energy of a page. This means that they were verbally abusive. Yes, baby, emotionally abusive, flying off the handle, hot tempered. Yes, impetuous with wickedness, darling dear, as well as dick dealing. Mm -hmm. If this person, this king of wands was in your life, darling dear, they're in, in an entanglement with a reverse high priestess. That is the one that is the most jealous. While the king of wands wants to sneak back into your situation. The king is someone who you held in high accolade. This could be mother, father, sister, brother. It may even be a lover or husband or wife. Whatever the circumstances for you, darling dear. 
They would love to come back into your situation. Split the deck. Listen at a hot trot. Mm -hmm. You've got incoming messages. Possibly messages from them. Why would they be sending you a message at this moment in time? Why does the King of Wands want to come back when they've got what they deserve? Oh! Because they've been betrayed in the situation they found themselves with, with the upside down Empress. I mean, oh, I said Empress, but it's the what? The High Priestess. Right, let's have a, let's have a quick rundown on what we've just seen. Can you see? We need, I needed to get my red light. This King of Wands, right, with the immature energy of a page, a dick dealer, somebody that came with what? All the talk. They've got fabulous words and every one of them was not true. They've been broken hearted in a situation. They've been betrayed in a situation. Possibly someone they chose over you. They manifested this darling dear and it was a what? A sexual soul tie. Mm. This and that darling dear. Whomsoever this king of wands is, they're proper pressed, pumped and perturbed. They have now been pillaged and looted by this upside down empress. I keep saying upside down empress. Well, it's meant to come out Freud and slip, meant to say it. If it's an upside down empress, this is no one's mother. This is a gold digger, yeah. Going for the best opportunity from the most feeblest of minds. Yeah, mm -hmm. This person is not abundant. They are bitter, they are jealous, and we already know that they're a spellcaster. We already saw the altar that they set up, darling dear. There's a lot of heartbreak, betrayal, lies in a situation that you saw clearly, darling dear, as you did your tinky winky. Left yourself from left left from that situation. Base of the deck. The King of Wands wants to give you a cup of opium and a quick starvation on the way out. Where's he going to hell, blood? Straight past the sign that says you mustn't F off past this point. This person will be charming, but their charm is only what to get back at you because you dared to become the big cat and leave. They want to see if you're stupid. They want to see if you've got any common sense. Mm. But you're healed, darling dear. The star card speaks about healing. It took a time for you to heal from that situation, to realize that you was a victim until you chose to be what survivor. You are now thriver, divine feminine. Base of the deck. And you have a king of pentacles coming towards you. Somebody's going to offer you a more stable and secure foundation, darling dear. This goes to five of pentacles. Whomsoever you left out in the cold, let them stay in Siberia. Mm -hmm. Don't take that cup. Don't even listen to what they've got to say. They're a full on shoe shine man and manipulation is what a homosexual will do. You have something new coming towards you. This also speaks about somebody offering their cup. We also have the page, the lying page. <laughs> They're coming too. Yes, baby, this king of wands, they're coming with a bullshit apology to lie about everything, darling dear. They have psychic abilities, but they use it to what? Use people further their own end. Well, wherever they went, it's Heartbreak Hotel. Mm -hmm. Whomsoever they hooked up with, darling dear. This person was trying to manifest a better partner for them. Mm -hmm. Which they possibly did because there's a lot of heartbreak here. Really? Yeah. Injustices has been perpetrated against this King of Wands. Base of the deck. This is what? Transformation card. Mm -hmm. You've moved away from that situation. You put your energies into creating a new beginning for yourself. You've learned how to fall back, darling dear. And it also speaks about what? Falling back from offering a new beginning to this king of wands. They can't go with you. It's a trap. Divine Feminine, you better what? Drop down and get your eagle on. Mm -hmm. It's a trap. You've healed star card also speaks about a miracle coming towards you.
Next best step for the Divine Feminine, the Big Cat. Who's got Big Cat things to be going up? Listen. Cards ain't ramping. Major Arcana Divine has stepped in on your behalf, darling dear. Liberation from a situation, right? This is a season of resolution. Mm -hmm. Creating freedom for you, Divine Feminine. And what painful ending for others. The justice is for you to get what you truly deserve. Gemini, the lover's card. It speaks about balance as well as equilibrium. Mm -hmm. It speaks about true partnerships. Partnerships that are true, that lead with the truth, darling dear. We also know that the justice is the card of karma. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Base of the deck, darling dear. King of Cups. This person is a, is got an, an emotional hair trigger, darling dear. They're extremely manipulative. King of Cups on its face. This is a cheater or con person. They've got mental issues. Somebody who you held in high accolade, accolade high high accord. Mm hmm. Not darling dear, a narcissist. You was dealing with a narcissist. Or narcissist, because they're legion, darling dear. Once you uncover one and you realize whom the hell you are, divine feminine, you start seeing them all about masking. Whomsoever this king of cups is, darling dear, what they chose was their destiny to choose, darling dear. This is karma. When you see the wheel of fortune in the reverse, everything in their life is destabilized. I told you they've already hidden the cups up, right? Every hour and hour, drinking and drugging it up. Trying to what? Create create cognitive dissonance in their life. Mm -hmm. The choices people make, darling dear. Especially when they feel that they, they're what? The dog's bollocks. And they aren't the dog's bollocks. What they're realizing now is that they are not the lip gloss in their life. They're not popping blood. Mm -mm. And that's the truth roof. Pinkies up. Good God. Your next best move, darling dear, is to hold your gangster. If you've made a decision to divorce yourself from a situation, leave a job, no longer commune with the wicked, right? Hold your gangster. And don't go back. They want to get a hold of your psychological password. Mm -hmm. The same one that was nothing but a tampon string, a displaced tampon string in your life. You've got to let that situation fall into rigor mortis, darling dear. Stiffness of death. Release that burden. You saw the card jump out. This is not this not your portion. It's got nothing to do with you. Release that burden, right? Listen, they're gonna miss you forever. Continue to isolate yourself from them. Because the four of swords, they might go to eat. I told you, karma knows the troll's address. Basura for sure, darling dear. Continue to be what? Solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole. It also speaks about infinity, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Balancing out your responsibilities, a new beginning. Then it brings out an eight, the number of Leo strength card. You also got the world card. Leave that alone. Whatever that past situation was, Allow it. Do go back, darling dears. You'll be sorry. Face of the deck. Leave them with their foolish actions. Whomsoever they chose over you, whatever it was, a person, a place, or a thing, darling dear, they're living with the negative cycles they co-created in their life. None of your business. You got your third eye on that bitch or Mitch and continue to what? Master. You mastered something, darling dear. Could be your emotions, maybe even your birth natal chart. The queen of wands knows a bit or two about the unknown, the occult, darling dear. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about as far as these stupid people, these, these dummy bats are concerned, you must hold your tongue. Say nothing, darling dear. Don't get involved. Energy is everything. They see how fabulous you look in these streets. You're looking sexy. Beautiful. Be beautiful. They didn't see you as beautiful when you was there. No. you was. They treated you like you was the crypt keeper. Mm. And they're sorry now, darling dear. They are sorry now. The devil behind the height, behind the arm. The arm. King of swords. 
High command of Decepticon. Narcissist, darling, they are controlling. Don't take them back. Don't offer them any, any emotions. Mm -hmm. Past energy. Let the past stay in the past. You've already turned your back on that situation, looking towards a new beginning, darling dear. You've actively been working on your dreams and your goals. In the name of the Most High, Father God. Base of the deck. Let the dig dealer lay where they are, darling dears. Whomsoever was the in and out energy in your life, leave them where they are. Knight of Wands on its face. Mm -hmm. This person was on an ego trip. And they are extremely jealous of what you've got going on. And they acted without considering the what? Consequences of their actions. This person is a philanderer. A philanderer. Right? When, they, when you built a house and made it into a home for them. Now they want to work with you, darling dear. For what mutual benefit? There is a homosexual and you got the plug, divine feminine. Whatever your plug is. Mm, now now they want to be friends. Imagine. Let me, let me take up my tiny card so we can see what else is going on. Why they they insist on bullying you, gang stalking you. Sending all of that negative energy. Paying money to see your downfall, darling dear. Wishing wickedness on your progeny. Why they did all of that? This burden that you must release, darling dear. Return to sender. I told you, nobody can claim dominion over you. But you, against these blown outs and run-throughs. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are they still keeping it up? Keeping it up? Why? Did something just fall out? If it did, it's an invisible card. Blood become a can't see it. And I've got on my spectacles of proof. What's this? Mm-hmm. Because they are in debt, darling dear. Spiritual and physical debt. They're brock pocketers. Buddy, have you got a dime? Big cat, do we have time for petty? Yes, baby. Jess? Mel? <coughs> Them have no pentecale. No pentecale, none. Not a bean. When you see the pentacles on its face, this talks about what? Destabilized foundation. Possibly having to fetch the black bags. Or they get in the black bags. I don't know what they're doing. It also speaks about the disloyalty around them. Who can they run to when everyone is a shepherd of the devil? I don't know. Better not be you, Divine Feminine, lest you share in their bad luckiness. Yeah. This also speaks about when you see the coins or the swords on their face. It speaks about what? A mental break, mate. Their, their, their mind is kicking like Jackie Chan. Mm -hmm. Right? You better not avoid the warnings and the red flags. They're going to come in like a lamb, like Larry the Lamb, to tempt you back into wickedness. They ain't got no money and they're not stable blood and their cranium. Listen. They want one more round, Julie, with your edges, your hairline, your pocketbook, your good, good. Seat of emperors and empresses. Are you mad blood divine feminine? Get a grip, Scotty, and know who you are on this Malkouf. You are that bitch or garçon in this season. What's this? Dog. Fakerzoid. Fakerzoid, darling dear. Because their life is going down Bobby Brown, they didn't get any warning because they was doing exactly what they wanted to do. Divine gives us all choice. They chose to do all of these things. This is why they're stalking you, darling dear. They're trying to put out that the life that you've created for yourself is fake, right? You better get the message, right? The message from Divine is to tell them to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I said it, fuck off, right? With the what? The love and the light, two of these and one of those. You tell them. If you can't tell them, right? See the timer, right? And where I just said fuck off, right? Send it to them in a message. 
They can't be the only ones sending out messages into the hemisphere. You've got to send one as well. Sometimes it's just with your shapely back. Law 16 of the 48 Laws of Power. You deserve love, darling dear. Self-love. Not that fake shit that gives you what? Skin issues, makes your heart go boom diddy boom diddy boom Unable to eat, unable to sleep, listening to them, right? When they are the blind, in the land of the blind And all they do is walk and work with their what? Panani of a tomb in the air Like a gang sign Are you mad blood? You better be obstreperous These people or persons gave you what? Misophonia blood! You couldn't stand to see them eating or breathing they gave you piss and phobia. Where you what? Had boozy badass on rinks and repeat, darling dear. Highs on everyone. Trust no one. They've changed the way you looked at the world. This hobosexual who's trying to IF to find out what your next move is. And if you tell me this isn't an act, I'll call you a liar. First size, devil energy wants to control a situation that they can't control. Outrageous. What else? That's a lot of cards, blood. Because there's spiritually deficit. You was meant to see that one. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, what about the tears? Which my mother always told me, wicked people quick for cry. Mm -hmm. It'd be that crying face with no tears on it, darling dear. Full of emotion and pain. But not a tear can be leaked. It's like trying to get blood from a stone, darling dear. Be the business person in your life, Divine Feminine. You've got responsibilities. You've got a whole cup to be filling. You haven't got, the, you haven't got that amount of time. They got involved with a spellcaster. I've just given you the 2020, darling dears. Pay attention. You're the baddest cat and they're under judgment. What did I say? You better say no. And if you say yes... Hit me up in the comments. Don't you dare Gmail me. I will be obstreperous and I'll be rude. Told you. Because you'll make me sweaty. Once I've passed the perspiration, anything can happen, blood. Because that would be a foolish move. Why would you want to waste your God-given time on this Malkuth? When you've got what purpose? Outrageous, darling dears. Base of the deck. Trust the universe. Trust the most high. Psalms 91.1, zip back into your efficient 6.13, right? And don't you forget Proverbs 26.11. What's that? As a fool, a fool, an idiot, a dummy butt returns to his folly. Only a dog will return to his vomit, as a dog returns to his vomit. We listen. Pay attention to the Most High, darling, and trust in the Most High. Father God would not send you a shepherd of the devil. But the devil has rights to what mess about in your life. You are the one that has the free will to choose. Choose wisely. Tears, they're going to take a gamble, right? Mm -hmm. Take a risk if they come crying to you with a message of bad luck. Somebody told them to get out. They was being cheated on in a situation. What's this? They come with a generational curse, blood. You better put your 2020 on that. If that don't make you go in hockey sticks at dawn and running for the hills, I don't know what will. What's this? They come with what? Envy, jealousy, and hate, darling dear. Mm -hmm. And what's this? Third house, Gemini energy. It's about communications, darling dear. The third house is ruled by Venus. You better know your worth, darling dear. It's your abundance. Mm -hmm. Sorry, by Mercury, excuse me, my civil play. Mercury, about your logic, your intellect, your intelligence. You've been gifted with all of the tools. And it also speaks about communication from some skullduggerous sibling. You're going to be hearing from them, blood. A neighbor, someone whom you had to say, get out and go away. Demon strongest worker. Right? What's this? Solar plexus. You'll feel it in your solar plexus, darling dear. You're going to feel uneasy in their presence. If they send you a message, you're going to feel uneasy because you can feel all of the, the spiritual attachments. I told you already, they're spiritually deficit. Empty vessel, darling, dear. 
fifth house fifth house is what um leo energy this is you in your power your creativities and it also the um fifth house also rules your heart darling dear as well as your what your back you can't have this monkey on your back they will ride you back into the ground, darling dear. It also speaks about what? Your childlike spirit. They're missing that. And they want to bring drama back into your life. Leo energy, sun energy. The sun is protected by what? The solar plexus. We're going back there again, guys. Mm -hmm. The solar plexus is what? Guarded by Archangel Michael. Call him at any time, darling dear. Before you make a decision to bring a loser, right? Back into your life. Someone who had your psychological password. Someone who is truly Pennywise son or daughter. Mm -hmm. This blown out run through. Looking for an orifice to weather the storm. I'm not going to read all of these cards, but I'm going to show you the moon card, darling dear. Al Gaz is the sign of protection. As we started the read, so I shall finish it. The moon card tells you to pay attention to your emotions and your intuitions. The moon card also speaks about what? Bad energy, a fake friend, a fake lover, somebody who's disingenuous and fucked up. Nah, blood. Grounded, right? Chariot card, you better nip that shit in the bud, right? They're from the devil. We had this in the upright just now, right? An emperor. Who's a tree sloth and a tart. What's that? A harlot. A, what do we call it here? A slapper. A slag. A run through. Community genitalia. Pedestrian sperm engineer. Pay attention, darling dear. You. All of a sudden they see you, Divine Feminine, as the next best thing since sliced bread. Imagine that. Imagine that. They couldn't see it. For all of the Bananian for Tom and everything else they put before you. But now they see your worth? As you bossed up, minded your own... No one can mind their own business like Divine Feminine. No one. You've got it down pat, mate. You are what? The coach of the Red Flag team. Mm-hmm. And this reading was what? A warning. And you better pay attention. Pay attention, Divine Feminines. I tell you this all the time. Drop down and get your eagle on. Because the Jezebel spirit, Revelation 2.20, haven't finished with you. Mm -mm. They ain't finished with you, mate. They want you to go down to the bottom of the pit just like them. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Pay attention. You are big cat, investigative cat. Realize that you, divine feminine, are the whole table. You are what? You went through everything, faced your shadow side, bent the matrix, bought up progeny, created businesses, got accolades. You have everything, power grip. Choose wisely. Namaste.